Hello students, Michael Sanchez here with Jen. Hello. Wanted to do a video on practicing and this is to really encourage you guys out there because probably the number one thing I find with teaching is that people get most discouraged when they don't practice. So for example, you know, you've been practicing for, you know, every day for three weeks and all of a sudden you miss a couple days or even a couple weeks. And a lot of people think, you know, because I did that, you know, I'm not dedicated enough, I'm not you know, um, fit to play this, I don't have enough time, you know, I hear that all the time. <laughs> um, and being that you don't have a private teacher, I think that that can happen even more often, you know, it's easy to drift off, you know, when you don't have somebody there to encourage you. But like I said in, the, in a previous video, playing the violin is not, um, a, it's not a race, it's a marathon. Being that, you know, if you just keep at it, if you keep working at it, it eventually, you're going to get to a point to where you reach your goals or to, your, to where you're really enjoying it and to where you'll never even think about quitting. So tell us about that, Jen, about, you know, just, uh, you know, have you had times where you haven't practiced, you know, sometimes? Oh, yeah. You know, being an adult, life tends to get in the way. And, and uh, so I've yelled at myself for not practicing and then I feel guilty. And But um, even if you only have like five, ten minutes, just pick up your violin, do scales, do something. I've uh, gone, you know, two, three days sometimes without practicing. And, and then I feel like I'm starting all over again, which is extra frustrating. So uh, definitely try to practice every day, even if it's only five minutes, just pick it up and pardon the pun, fiddle around with it. <laughs> and uh so, yeah, definitely practice because that's the only way you're going to get better. Absolutely. So, I mean, yeah, if you don't practice at all, you know, I would have to say maybe rethink your, your idea on this hobby, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if, if you miss a couple of days or a couple of weeks even, you know, stick with it. And you might have, you know, weeks after where you're doing it every day, you know. Yeah. So, certainly, like Jen said, the key to success in the violin is practicing and playing and you know, but you can't learn the instrument overnight or within a week or a month or even a year. You have right. to just really just keep at it and keep trying. And, um, you know, if this makes you guys feel any better, you know, growing up, I had plenty of stretches where I didn't practice. You know, if I, if I practice every day or every week, like, I'd be not talking to you guys right now. I'd be, you know, <laughs> eat Zach Perlman, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I, I just stuck with it, and my, my mom had a lot to do with that, you know, helping to, you know, get me to, inside to practice and not play outside or whatever. And I, I really, I'm glad that she did that, because it's gotten me better. And But certainly I look back, there's tons of times that I haven't, you know, practiced, made my practice goals or so on, so. But don't let that discourage you guys, you know, just keep at it. And, um, you know, try to find ways to, you know, get you more motivated, encouraged. You know, there's, um, I do Skype lessons. You know, maybe that's a way to kind of get you back into it. Uh, maybe finding a, a book, you know, that's got like some really cool music. Um, maybe just thinking of practicing differently, trying to practice in a different part of the day. Uh, one tip you could do is keep your instrument out always because mm -hmm. then you can just grab it instead of like having to take it out of the case and put the shoulder rest on. And, mm -hmm. you know, have you ever tried that? To just leave it out and then yeah easier. actually I have a uh, little um, I have a chest that I set my violin on in my room and uh, so it's always out ready to go uh, sheet music I've shuffled all my sheet milk music stuck together in my books so I make it very accessible mm. to just pick up and play mm hmm yeah and that, that's helped a lot of students I've suggested that and it's really helped people um, so yeah just try to you know, not get discouraged, you know. And another thing, too, I want to mention is that a lot of students try to weigh their progress on a weekly basis. So let's say, you know, I started a piece last week and this week it didn't sound any better. So they're like, you know, I can't, I'm not getting any better. I'm not doing the right things. I, I'm terrible. But what you have to do is you have to weigh your progress more on a monthly basis or even better, a six month basis. So, Jen, if you were to look back six months ago, would you say you're better than you are today? Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yep. Even a couple months, right? Yeah. Yep. But uh, there's probably plenty of times where I would say, hey, do you think you're better than last week? You'd say, absolutely not. Ab right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Absolutely not. So you have to just be patient. Part of you know playing any musical instrument, I think, has a lot to do with patience. So try not to you know look at it last week. Look at it more in an overall scope. And sometimes another person can help you um, with your progress because sometimes I feel like I haven't progressed at all, but other will pe people will tell me that yeah you have gotten better hmm. so sometimes you aren't the best judge of whether you've progressed or gotten better absolutely that's a really good point um, yeah I think a lot of people are very hard on themselves you know mm -hmm. they're me. perfectionists <laughs> um, you know just record yourself maybe one day and then watch it a couple months later three months later six months because y you might not even realize what the progress you're making mm -hmm. you know but if you watch yourself you know the extreme of it would be watch yourself the first lesson, you know, maybe you've been taken out for a couple of years, you know, obviously you're way better, you know, you've gone, come a long way, you know, so anything else, Jen, to encourage people out there, um, the ones that are maybe like, you know, thinking about quitting or not liking it or... Definitely set little goals for yourself. Um, I think setting goals is a big part of it. Um, like if you want to perfect your second finger positions on the lower and higher notes or if you want to learn vibrato mm. um, set little goals don't be like you know i want to learn vibrato the whole thing tomorrow right right it's not going to happen <laughs> <laughs> so maybe just uh you know getting it a little bit more back and forth or yeah, I think, like Jen said, little goals is, is really good, really good baby idea. baby steps. Baby steps. Turn into big steps. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I uh, really hope this video has encouraged you guys out there. I know that, you know, some of you maybe don't have a teacher, so this is kind of your only way to hear this, you know, um, this encouraging, these encouraging words. So I hope to put more videos like this together in the near future. Uh, please visit my website. I'm really um, kind of on that track of trying to put as many videos out there as I can all different types of videos. So please visit my site and hope you guys have a good day.